Fletcher Carolyn. How are you guys doing today? I'm Ray Nickerson, Executive Director of New Mexico Young Actors. We're very happy to be here at Carlos Ray Elementary School to perform for you today. This is an audience participation show. Uh, but before we start with that, I just want to thank New Mexico Arts because it is because of New Mexico Arts that we're able to come out and visit schools like yours uh, so that you can enjoy the live stage, theater, fine arts opportunities that our city uh, and state offer. Uh, offer you. Um, this is an audience participation show, so if the actors ask you a question or ask for a response, go on ahead and respond, but don't make it too long, okay? Uh, make sure that we can go on with the play. Uh, and we're going to practice one time because when the queen comes in, the, a trumpet player goes da 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 da, and then we all say, All hail the queen! But that's only when the queen enters. If another character comes in and they go da 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 da, da don't, uh, don't respond, okay? It's only when the queen responds. So let's practice one time. Um, and the queen enters, and we hear this trumpet sound. And we all raise our hands and say, All hail the queen. Can you guys do that? Yeah. yeah. And then during the show also, we have Miss Alexis Martinez, and she will be playing clarinet to, uh, to help us with the musical side of the show. So let's sit back and watch The Frog Princess. Once upon a time, long ago in a land which is now Russia, lived a great ruler, the Queen Natasha. She ruled over the kingdom alone since the death of her husband, the king. And under her reign, the kingdom had continued to prosper. Oh, thank you, thank you. Your Majesty, my hair. You like my hair, do? Why, thank you. I spent a great deal of time. No, Your Majesty, where is your crown? Your crown. My crown. Oh no, I must have left it on the dressing table while I was fixing my hair. I'll get it. Now continue with the story. Now, the queen was getting old. Old? Only mature, your majesty, only mature. <gasps> A great hair. Oh no, maybe I am getting old. I should retire. Oh, your majesty, you're not old, no older than I. A gray hair. But, your majesty, who would rule the kingdom? Oh, not to worry, I have three fine sons. Ah, yes, three fine sons. Prince Boris! Did someone call me? Boris? But he might chop me in half! My little Boris? Your Majesty, he's not... Ah! He's not little, Your Majesty! I'm fierce! And tough! And strong! No man in all of Russia is a braver warrior! I can fight anybody! Anybody! Ah! Boris! Your son! Mother! My son! Noble mother, I killed a bear today. The one that brought Terrence to the little village by the mountain? Yes, mother. I saw it first in the clearing, crept up behind it, raised my bow and shot it. It fell, but it was only wounded. It came at me. Its teeth were that long, Ugh. and its claws were that long. Ugh. I threw down my bow and wrestled it with my bare hands. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I was able to get my knife. I slit its throat, and blood flowed. I stabbed in the eye. Blood came out in spurts. Splut, splut, enough. I slug its belly. Aye, I am proud of you, my son. Such a brave warrior. Oh, yes, he would make a fine king. Well, Your Majesty, it says here you have a second son. Oh, yes, Kashmir. This prince can talk anybody into anything. He truly speaks the words of gold. Noble mother. My son. Dearest mother, wise, virtuous parents, lights of my darkest hours, benefactor to me in my time of deepest need, provider of all that I possess, mentor to me always. I ask not what my queen can do for me, 
but rather what I can do for my queen. My son, can you get to the point? The point? Ah, yes, the point. <clears throat> Today, I have bargained with the wild chief of the barbarians. The barbarians? They're so wild, you could have been killed. They're dangerous, but they have agreed to stop raiding the villages on the eastern border. Ooh. And they will no longer hunt our game. Ah. There is more. They will send tribute to the queen, to you, noble mother. Here is a token of their good faith. A wreath, a symbol of their intentions of peace. Well done, my noble son. You would make a fine king. But your majesty says here. Oh dear, my third son, Sasha. Ah, Sasha, now he's a different story. Sasha. Your majesty, it says here that no man has ever beaten Sasha in a fight. That's because he's never been in a fight. and drew my own water because my servant wasn't feeling animals, well. Animals, animals, think of animals, Sasha. Did you kill any bears today? Animals, yes. I found a poor mouse caught in a trap and I let it go free. Speeches, Sasha. Did you give any memorable speeches or negotiate any important treaties today? Speeches, treaties? Oh, yes, I did talk to the cook's girl and she's agreed to put flowers out for tonight's dinner. It looks so bare with only golden dishes. Ah, Sasha, kind-hearted Sasha. You couldn't even harm a gnat. That's true. He's not as fierce and strong as me. And he can't talk people into things like I can. No, but he is gentle and kind, just like his name suggests. It means helper of man. And I do love him. Mama, upon what happy occasion have you called us all together? Perhaps a birthday party for someone? The occasion? Oh my! Let me see. The kingdom, your majesty. The kingdom? The kingdom? Oh yes, I have called you all here because I would like to retire soon, travel a bit, and enjoy my old age. But I must choose which of you is to inherit the kingdom. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I love you all so much. But I think I have a plan. A uh, fight! Winner wins the kingdom. A diplomacy problem. But mother, my son, each of you has some, but not all, of the qualities needed to be a good king. The difference between a good king and a great king, such as your dear father, God rest his soul, is the woman behind the throne. Um, okay. Okay. And so my son, whichever of you has the best wife will be king. Mother, none of us has a wife at all. Mama dear, we don't even know how to find a wife. If only our dear father, God rest his soul, had not gone to heaven before he could tell us the secret of how to find a princess to be our wife. Poor brothers, but don't fret. Somehow, maybe our dear father, God rest his soul, in his place in heaven will help us find wives. Precisely. You will use the same method as he used many years ago to find me? What was what it? Is it? Tell tell us. How tomorrow you will go to the heart of the deep, dark forest, <gasps> to a clearing where you learned how to hunt with your father when you were small, then in turn each of you to shoot his arrow as high and far as he can. Surely your dear father, God rest his soul, will guide your arrow to the wife who is best for you. With an arrow, my mother? Surely. Are you sure this will work? Father met you by shooting an arrow? It was so romantic. Believe me, my sons, mother knows best. Now isn't that a good way to find a bride? Just shoot an arrow into the air. And so, one by one, each son shot his arrow to find his bride. Fly, arrow, go your way. Find for 
me a bride today. Make her brave and strong and bold. She'll not fear wind or heat or cold. place. It is. Fly, Arrow, go your way. Find for me a bride today. Make her noble, rich and fine, a golden lady, mine all mine. water with the second one. I made a perch for a poor bird. But you do have one left, don't you? Yes, I know, but I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Shoot, what have you got to lose? For one thing, my last arrow. Shoot. Where? There. There? There, here, anywhere. Well, shoot. Oh, all right. Fly, arrow, go your way. Find for me a bride today. Make her golden, silver, pearl. Oh. I'll just take any girl. My arrow! Now what will I do? I'll never find a bride now. Wait, maybe something will happen. And he waited and waited. How long have I been waiting? Three days and three nights. <laughs> I don't think the bride's coming. It doesn't look that way. Well, I better start looking for my arrow. Are you sure? Those are deep and dark. It was a good arrow, and Mama taught me never to waste. He searched and searched for many more days. Have any of you seen my arrow? Yes. Have any of you seen a beautiful bride? I 
wish I could find my arrow. I think it's lost forever. Ribbit, Sasha. <gasps> Look, my arrow. But now, where is my bride? Sasha. Oh, bride, sweetheart, come out. Have any of you seen my bride? That's just a frog. Ribbit, Sasha. Go away, frog. Have you seen anyone? Anyone at all? Sasha, I am your bride. What? But that can't be. You're just a frog. Nevertheless, you promised your mother that whoever your arrow found may be your bride. Your arrow found me, and you must keep your promise. I am your bride. But I can't marry a frog. My brothers would laugh at me. Ribbit. The whole kingdom would laugh at me. Would you lie to your mother? Well, no. Would you not keep your promise? Well... Would you reject me just because I'm ugly? I guess that wouldn't be very nice. I did promise mother, and I would never be unkind to anyone, man or beast. And that includes you, Frog. You're right. You shall be my bride, and I shall love and care for you as if you were the most beautiful princess in all the land. Even if I lose the kingdom in the bargain, even if everyone laughs, you will not regret this, Sasha, the kind one. I hope not. Well, at least. Oh, by the way, Frog, do you have a name? What shall I call you? My name is Natalia. It means birth. All right, Frog. Natalia, it's a long walk to the palace. Not at all. In fact, I know a shortcut. Grab a vine and I will lead you. Thank 
you all, my people. I present to you the new daughters-in-law, Princess Ursula, <laughs> Princess Vasilisa. Mama dear, I may call you Mama now, right? I'm just so very, very nice, very, 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 very pleased to be new bride. Oh, and the princess, uh, frog. Yeah. Your Majesty. Yes. Who will be the new king? Why, the prince is the best wife, of course. But which wife is the best? Which prince will be king? And which princess will be the new queen? Silence, please. Never fear. As your queen, I have thought of a way to choose the best wife. How? Oh, what is it? Us. My people. Tomorrow morning, each of you is to make her husband a shirt. Fit for a prince. Fit for a king. Do your finest work and have the shirt ready tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Sasha, will your bride be making you a shirt out of a lily pad? <laughs> Even my brothers laugh at you, Natalia. Come, we'd better bring you home and put you in a basin filled with water before your skin dries out. Oh, Sasha, you were kind and good. Now bring me some thread, cloth, and string, then leave me. What? But crocs can't sew. Dear Sasha, your kindness to a poor frog will be rewarded. Trust me. <coughs> After Sasha left, and while the other princesses worked on the shirt, the frog slept. River, 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 river. River, river, river. But when the clock struck midnight, has made me a shirt of a fine gold cloth, fit for a prince, fit for a king. A gold shirt. Absolutely. Made by my lovely frog princess, 
Natalia, why, it's beautiful. Let me see closer. It's made of the finest cloth and beautifully embroidered. Most artistic. Never have I seen such a lovely shirt. <gasps> why, it fits me perfectly. Sasha, truly the best new sister in the kingdom. It's your wife. Your frog. Oh, dear. Your Majesty, the second test. Oh, yes, the second test. Well, what is it? Bread baking. Bread baking? Yes, bread baking. The next queen must be able to bake the best bread in all the land. Tomorrow morning, I will taste the bread we might eat to few my fair princesses. Ursula, <laughs> that's Alyssa, and Frog. Run it. Well, all the princesses went off to make their... Oh, oh, what's this? What are you doing here? Where's that frog? No frog can make a fool out of me. Come here, frog. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. No, Ursula. You can't kill the frog. Why not? Come out here, frog. Well, she is Sasha's bride. And even though she's ugly, she's still a princess and our sister-in-law. Well, if you want to put it that way, for pretty soon, she'll be the queen. A frog ruling over us? That's terrible. Then let's just take care of her. Wait. 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 Can you make bread? Well, I used to fix the oats for the horses. There. I can't bake either. The servants always made my bread. I was thinking, maybe we could use this frog to her advantage. How? Well, she did sew the best shirt. Right here, frog. She can probably make bread, too. Oh. Now, since she's just a dumb frog, we'll have to go to her and get her to show us how to make it. I get it. And then we won't need to use the jacket. But this is like I've heard that the third test is a grand ball. And surely I will be the best. And you, and you, of course, will be the best at being any grand lady than any old frog. Then shall we combine our efforts on bread, bread baking to outdo the slimy toad? It's a deal. Oh, froggy. Ribbit. Frog. We want to talk about how do you talk to a frog? Can she understand you? I don't know. Bread. We want bread. Yes? I think she understands you. Go ahead and ask her. OK. We want you to show us how to make bread. Yes. Bread. To eat. Understand? Eat. Bring a bowl, a mixing bowl, a spoon. The kitchen. <laughs> Boy, are they dumb. And they're not very nice. Don't worry. I fear they're beyond help. Just watch and see. What are you doing? Where do you think you're going? What are you doing? Where are you going with my cooking stuff? What do you think you are doing? Now, cook. You heard the queen's degree. We must bake the best bread in all the land. And you must show us how, or Ursula will have your head. Yes, yes, of course. Hi. What is that frog doing in my kitchen? <coughs> First, you need flour. Put in six cups of flour. And salt. You'll need a pinch of salt. Everybody knows you don't use salt without pepper. Pepper? No, that wouldn't be good in bread. You have to try to make sure our bread isn't as good as yours. You better watch your step. Or hop. I'm getting the pepper. Put it in the bowl. Use a measuring cup. Don't listen to them, Ursula. She's just trying to make sure her bread isn't as good as ours. And the cook's probably helping her. Just dump it in. All of it. What are you doing? Uh. No, just dump it in. Now the salt. All of it. Oh, I never knew baking would be so much fun. Flower petals will make it pretty. And dirt will make it strong. Feathers will hold it together and make it all soft. And glue will hold it all together. <laughs> What about eggs? Any bread needs eggs, you know. Oh. No, not like that. Just everything. 
Now, miss it. Are your hands even clean? No, but I did wash my feet last week. <laughs> now you have to knead it. Hit it! Oh, stomp on it! Stomp harder! <laughs> Are you sure you know what you're doing? Don't try to pull any more tricks on this frog. Just because we never made bread before. I would have never guessed. There, now that's the dough. What do we do now, frog? After you make the dough, you need to bake it. <gasps> we'll throw this right onto the hot coals and let it cook all night. Okay. If that's what you think is best, in the morning you'll have bread. Bread like you've never tasted before. I guarantee it. <sighs> Thank you, kind frog princess. You're quite a help after all. I think they're really going to do it. Cook that bread right on the open coals in the fireplace and, oh my goodness, it's almost midnight. And that means... Hello, Your Highness, do you see the look on the princess's face when... No time to talk now, I have some bread to bake. Not bread like... Of course not, real bread. And remember, her secret. Do you think she can really make bread in time? Yes. Well, yes. well, actually, we'll find out soon because it's almost morning and time for her to become a frog again. Thank <laughs> you. 
dear. My good side to heart, the queen. Right, mother. 
Sisters, you are forgiven, and really no harm was done. And I can see why you wouldn't want to bow and scrape to a frog. But you won't ever have to, for we shall be sisters. That noise. Could that be? It sounds like thunder. It's getting louder and louder. It has stopped. Could that really be? It means that the spell is broken. Yay. Broken? What did it really mean? Just as the wise men told you, you have broken it yourself. But how? By being kind and merciful to those who would harm you and by calling them your sisters. The spell broken, and that means you will never have to be a frog again. And that means my kingdom is no longer a swamp, and it waits for us, my husband, my prince. Um, excuse me, your majesties, does this mean you have two kingdoms? Two? <gasps> two! My husband, our combined kingdoms are too large for us to rule on our own. Indeed. Let us divide them into three equal parts. One for you, Boris and Ursula. Uh, One for you, Casimir and Vasilisa. I like that. <laughs> and the third for us, dear Natalia. And we can all help each other. Boris and I can protect everyone from wild animals. And my dear Casimir, who can talk anyone into anything in the world, can talk all the different kingdoms and oh! <laughs> I will be the foreign secretary. And you, my dear, can teach everyone how to bake bread. And I will never be unkind or selfish ever again. And I will keep your frog skin to remind us how important it is to be kind to everyone, even <laughs> to the lowest of creatures. Your dear father would be proud. God rest his soul. The, the end. end. introduce themselves, their name, age, and what school they go to very quickly, nice and loud. Oh, I am Dakota Lopez, I am 14 years old, and I attend Cibola High School. I'm Sakara Tuck, I'm 15, and I attend College Career High School. I'm Caitlin Sanchez, I'm 14, and I go to Cottonwood Classical. I'm Cash Martinez, I'm 13, and I go to Eisenhower Middle School. I'm Kelly Ingle, I'm 13, and I go to Desert Ridge Middle School. I'm Lillian Martinescu, I'm 10, and I go to Seven Bar Elementary. I'm Akia Royer, I'm 15, and I'm homeschooled. I'm Bo Cumby, I'm 13, and I'm homeschooled. And we're New Mexico Young Actors. Uh, I know we only have a few minutes, but if you want to come and meet the actors really quick uh, and come say hi, we'd love to have you. Thank you very much for being a great audience. See you next year. Thank you.